Hi everyone, Louis here, and today I'm going to bring you guys my first impressions of another new armor free mod. This one looks kind of interesting, and I'll tell you why in a second, but it's called After the Fall. Um, it's all about zombie survival. It takes place on the Essica map, and the reason I think it could be interesting now, it could be interesting, I don't know, we'll see, but even with the future of... Uh, fuck off. Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to bring you guys my first impressions on another new armor free mod. I feel like this one could actually be really interesting, and I'll tell you why in a second. But just give you a bit of background about this mod and what it's called and what it's about. Although you can probably tell what it's called from the title. It's called After the Fall. Um, it's a zombie survival mod. It takes place on the Essica map. Which, that's probably a bad example of a map. But this is the full map right here. It's Essica. If you haven't heard of it before. It's a pretty good map. And it is also built pretty much around the post-apocalyptic theme. Which I think is really good considering this map's called after, or this mod's called After the Fall. And it's all about zombies. It seems like a... You know, a good combo. But yeah, the interesting thing about this mod, and I don't know how it's going to be right now, but I guess we'll see in a second. But regardless of how it is right now, you know, it's early alpha, blah, blah, blah. I feel like it could be interesting in the future, because it's actually being developed by the guys who made Armor Free Life Critical Gaming. If you um, have watched Twitch streams on... What? Twitch streams on Twitch, I was going to say there? If you watched Twitch streams before, on my free Twitch streams, you'll know pretty much every big streamer plays A3L. And the same guys who made A3L are making this. And it's a zombie survival mod. Um, obviously, it's going to be focusing on things which are different to breaking point. One of the main things, as you can see, is a yellow filter around the world. Isn't it beautiful? Um, but yeah, we've got all of our assets from all of that development. You can see the UI on, on the right and in the bottom right right there. It's got TFR for very easy communication between other people. So it, there's not necessarily roleplay rules, but people are hopefully going to, you know, not just kill each other on site. And I feel like it could be um, a lot of fun. Either way, when you're first born in the world, you get a Seeker, a Bow, Seeker, Arrow, a Hatchet, a Monster Energy Drink, all of this stuff right here. I have used a few different things. And just to demonstrate quickly a really simple mechanic, but you can go ahead, go to trees and gather a piece of wood. Obviously, if you're not beside a, pe beside a, a tree, even I was going to say beside a piece of wood, it'll tell you you're not beside a tree, so you can't do that. And if you double click on the, the wood, you can go ahead and make five arrows, which is going to be, you know, how you're going to survive from the start. You can go ahead and use your small knife, gut a rabbit if you want, some animals around, around the area. And uh, that is pretty much it. One of the big things which suck about... Oh my god, is it fucking earthquake? What the fuck? Okay, I don't know what that means, but... Yeah, I've seen a lot of interesting things pop up. Like I said, you're being pulled in by gravity in the top right. Like, I think there's a lot I think there's a lot of things about this mod which haven't really been revealed, but they are there, kind of thing. Like, the earthquakes, I don't know if it mean anything, but yeah, it was an earthquake. And earthquakes only actually happen on certain parts of the map on Armour 3, so... I... I don't know. And now I've completely forgot what I was saying. Fuck. If we, we are currently at the, uh... Plava uh, military complex, so we're gonna go loot up and hopefully get some good weapons. But yeah, I completely forgot what I just said. So I'm gonna go watch the video that I just recorded, and I'm gonna work out what I was saying, and I'm gonna continue with a point. Okay? Okay. I've got my um my thoughts back again now. I don't know what the zombies are right now, but the thing I was gonna say is one of the big things which sucks about Daisy Standalone and pretty much any um, mod for Armor Free as well is there's a lack of zombies. There's not like you know hordes of zombies. Even on breaking point, you're never really that big of a threat. This mod seems different. You will find random wandering zombies in the middle of nowhere. But if I head up north into Essica, which is exactly what my plan is to do, um, you will see hordes of zombies, and and they can become an actual threat. So that's one of the coolest things about this mod. And also, I don't know, just the community as a whole is a good fucking community. The critical gaming community has never failed me. Um, so that is pretty much that. I don't know where I'm going to find loot from. I don't really know too much about the mod, but we're going to work it out together in uh, this, this short first impression series and come out with a, a conclusion. Obviously keep in mind that this is all beer, but hopefully we should have some, some decent PvP times. I was playing actually another mod recently, which had some, some pretty good... Uh, it had good FPS and had a lot of zombies just like this mod, but um, it was mostly focused around PvE. This seems focused a lot around PvP. And if they do start enforcing RP rules, it will be pretty much like A3L, but in a world of zombies and Essica, which that sounds pretty cool, right? If you're a fan of A3L. If you're not a fan of A3L, then I don't know, it's hard to say really, but yeah. If there's not really much else here, I'm going to go head up north anyway, but it looks like this place has mostly been looted, which is a bit of a shame, really. Oh shit, fucking flash of lightning. Alright, I'm almost in Essica now. You can see there's some like spooky red lights here, some lights over on the street. I know it's kind of dark, which is probably really bad for the viewing experience, so I'm going to wait until it's light, until I talk a bit more. But just a quick, um... Not reiteration, but to go on a point I was talking about earlier about using the, the assets and all the things we've got in Armour Free Life, like the 
The death menu I know is the same, so when you die you can get CPR kitted back up, which is really cool, because I think something which sucks about Exile is you can't get revived. But they've actually got CPR kits in this, um, and I can't name a lot of all the features in it, because I, I don't know what the features are, I haven't played this that much. But I am going to be meeting up with someone, and um, yeah, I'll be over there back out in a second, and hopefully he'll tell me some stuff, and it should be a bit lighter then as well. But so far, I like the atmosphere, I'll tell you that much. And also, if you wonder if this is open to anyone who's registered to Critical Gaming, just register to the website, um, download the mods, and come hop on down if you want to come play. Oh, oh. <coughs> hello, hello. Anyone in here? I hear some zombies are back, I don't know if you can hear them go Ugh. Well it is a bit brighter now, but I'm supposed to be mean with someone here, I don't know where the fuck he is, there's just fucking shit everywhere. Hello? Are you in the hospital? Yeah I'm in the fucking hospital. Also I found this on the floor. Some important papers. I double clicked on him, said do nothing, so Oh, I hear a fucking zombie. Oh shit there he is. I just killed a fucking T-Rex, I think. Well, that was spooky. It stopped raining now, at least. Oh, there he is. Yo! 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 This is a robbery on the floor. Oh, shit. Oh, you can tackle people? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my you God. Back me. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. That's awesome. All right. That's I was, fucking awesome. That was All a right. beautiful fucking butt, love. All right. Oh, that's fucking... Great. Yes, you told me you were gonna fucking show me a good time and fuck me in the ass, so go ahead. Uh, yeah, we're gonna fucking, we're gonna go get some fucking, go get some guns and we're gonna go fucking, fucking, go into the woods and, and fucking and, what? I, I don't know, man. We, we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you a good time though, Lewis. Okay. Can Very we get, good hands. Can we get a car? Where can we get a car? We need a uh, car. We have to find skulls and then with the skulls we uh, give it to the weird man in the cave. It's like, and oh shit, what? Fucking earthquake on the floor! Yo, don't stand up, man. Oh, that was scary. Don't worry, man. I've, I have the greatest knees. Okay, but yeah, I mean, um, the skull collector's in a cave? Yeah, he's in the fucking, he's in a cave that if you drop down in, you're gonna die. Oh, Gramada? Yeah, see that, okay. Well, it's hey gonna guys, be... how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty good, how about you? What the fuck are you wearing? Oh shit, you've got a fucking shotgun. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know, I just Is that, I can't see you too well, I think that's a top hat, a gas mask, and a shotgun. Why did you find all that shit? shit. Oh, wait, where the fuck's this? Oh, it's a fucking zombie! Oh. He's dead now. Alright, Lewis, so, if we stay in, if you stay in a place for too long, more zombies come. Like, it's like, a, it's a 60 second count timer. So, like, we probably should go. I've been here for... 60 seconds. All right, well, you lead the, just lead the way. It's getting bright now. Sun will be up in a few minutes. Bring uh, us to hey, fucking hey. salvation, mate. All mm. right, I don't know where we're going, but this guy told me he's gonna show me a good time. I don't even know where I'm going. Well, fucking, I'll show you where I went out. Yeah, where do you want to go? I want to. Uh, I don't know. I want to get. I want to have a good you know time. You know Essica? I don't. I, don't I, know, I know Essica pretty well. decently. Yeah, I have played it a few times in the past. Did we see anyone by the way? Are we? Are we gonna rob them? Is that like with John? Uh, it just probably it just depends on who it is. Cause I had a group of like five people, and one of we had to take out. Uh, we had to execute one of our guys because he was turning into a an infected. But I don't know if you get hit, you how much cure your infection? You turn into a uh, zombie. Can you play as a zombie? How do you cure it? Yeah, yeah, you play as a zombie. Oh, yeah, how do you cure it? That's important. You have to get a, a bottle of curing liquid. Can you cure? Oh, some that anti anti turn spray. Is that shit? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what yeah, it's I called. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. All right. Well, um, if we head east, we can go hit up this uh, supermarket. Some stuff over there. I don't know if it's worth checking it out, but try to just go head east. If there's, a, if there's a supermarket, then yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the main part of the city. There's like radios, two supermarkets, church, like fire station. Yeah, there's a fire station actually over there. So we'll go check that out. Wait, what? Someone's trying to hatch you? Yeah, yeah, he's What's that line. sound? I hear gunshots. I'm scared. Yeah, there is someone shooting. I don't know where the fuck it is, though. I'm coming. There's a guy outside trying to fucking give me... He's trying to skull fuck me. Oh, shit, he's here. Time to go. 
Oh, I hit him. I got him, I got him. Oh, it was fucking oh, Sal! It was fucking Sal, dude! Why the fuck would Sal do that? I don't know, I'm gonna take his fucking tainted spectacles, bro. Oh my god, oh, Sal's shit. gonna be so upset right now. Before you were saying, like, fuck you, Lewis, in side chat. <laughs> it's still not fucking uh, light, come man. Here, come here, I wanna show you something. Okay. So, come up here and cut the cloth off this guy. Cut. And once you get through cloth, you can. Which means, how do I cut off? Just use your scroll wheel. Oh, so oh okay, cool. Oh, okay, cool. And then with that, then you can, when you get three of them, you can, um, make a bandage. Yeah, I just gutted him as well. Oh, yeah, you can fucking... Have you, have you got, uh, do you, have you got Tyrant parts already? Do you spawn uh, one? I had it, I lost it though. Oh, you I lost it? I forgot to Fuck. pack up my bike, uh, one. Wait, so I've got enough for a bike right now? Uh, yeah. Double click it and then we'll spawn Oh shit, I've got a fucking bike, boys. There it is, man. Nice. And I might go for be an careful adventure. Though, because don't go off like road or anything with those. Cause yeah, I know it's dangerous. You can die pretty easily. Oh yeah. Right, Madden, if you can just if by hitting a tree or hitting someone else, you can get an infection. Zombie over here. Yeah, fucking. I don't know. Sad. It sounded like lightning. Those gunshots did, but I don't know where he's gone. In the future, if someone's trying to hatch you, just run around them, fucking tackle them. Wait, Thomas killed Robert Sweeney. That was the dude we've seen before. Oh, was it? Yeah, I just had a gunshot over that way. Maybe he either got infected or, or something like that. Nah, he probably just fucking just shot his brains off for shits and heels. Yeah, shot him. Hey! Yo, hey. Caster, hey. what's up, dude? Oh, it's Caster. Yeah, it's Caster. How about to see you survive? Oh, yeah, yeah, I fucking survived Lake the move from Lakeside to Essica, man. And fucking zombies drove me out. Hard life. Yeah, they drove all of them Yo, out. you gotta watch out. There's a crazy motherfucker back there shooting at people on bikes for no reason. Yeah, I heard him, he's man. He's on the side of the road. That's yeah, a... he's in a bush. He's probably coming this way right now on a bike. What's that you wearing on your face? I don't know, I found it, so I figured, you know, why, why the hell not? You know, I'm, at this point I'm just like, finding it, wearing anything I find. Yeah. He's the goblin king. The goblin this king? This is my friends. There was a lot more, but they died. Yeah, I heard you guys have got like a bike gang or some shit, but like, not like a Lakeside bike gang, like a bicycle gang. You know? I met up with a bunch of my Lakesiders, we go going, we met some other people, everything's cool. And we found one of these old ex Lakesiders that kicked out the crew. And as soon as I called him out on it, nice he fucking man. shot us all. Yeah? It was over a year ago, but, you know, he that's, doesn't like us still. That's fucked up, Yeah, Yo, you can have it. I don't have ammo MP5? For it, that's fucking sexy, dude. I'll take it. I'll look like a badass. Yeah, it is an MP5. Shit, dude. I'm like a fucking military expert. The sun's coming up. Yeah, yeah, it's getting I bright. night vision. Yeah, I see that. a cop from the old world, and he gave me night vision before. That's nice, you know. Nap. Thank you. Oh, Caster, were you, uh, revived? Yeah. Uh, oh, I, the, I scattered, dude. The, the cop helped me up, man. Okay, yeah. I the ran. sun's coming up. So, oh, there's a guy on a bike. He Where? He went that way. He went which way? No, Left? I think he's I did, he just drove past that road. Let's fucking go. Yeah, let me get my bike up. We should chase him, man. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Alright, let's see him. I don't know if you guys can see him too well, but he's like on the horizon over there. What I'm going to do is with my recently acquired MP5, I'm going to rob him just for shits and giggles. It should be fun. You're a fucking robbery. Stop the vehicle, you dead, you little prick. On the fucking ground. On the ground. On the fucking ground! Fucking strip naked, you little bitch. Yo, is this him? Yeah, this is. I don't know. What do you mean, him? Hey, Who is he? Oh, wait, this is my friend. Is this guy's your friend? friend Opie. Oh, my bad. Yeah, he was with us. You? Yo, you just fucking. I thought you were the guy with the gun. Thank oh, fucking fuck Christ for you guys rolling in. No, I mean, I wasn't necessarily no. going to rob you, I was just working out, like, Caster was with me a second ago, so I was just working out who you were, you know, that's how I work out who people are, I just rob them, and then talk to them later, you know? I'm sorry yeah, about that, no hard feelings. Yeah, I heard gunshots, and, and I just kept on going, I can't believe you like, made it out of the shootout, dude. No, this, this, this weapon's unloaded, like, it's not even loaded, yeah, I so. I just did it, medic helped me out. Oh, thank you. Dude, I just swooped through Essex here, look at all the shit I got. Here's some guns for some people. You got spy guns? Right, let me get a gun. Holy Enfield, Boom. holy shit. Have you got Boom. any ammo? Yeah, oh, what the fuck? I got you, cuz. Oh, nice yeah, dude, I just fucking MP5 ammo. Everything for you guys. How the fuck did you find this stuff? I haven't found anything. You found an AR as well? Yeah, this, it's the pubs, I'll take the arrows. Yeah, someone... the pubs. Nice. Hey, someone give me the uh, MP5. Uh... Bag, is it kind of hard to um get ammo? Because I mean we've only got you know you've got like fucking ten weapons and like hardly any ammo. Doesn't look like there's too much ammo in Escavista's like just one mag from my MP5. 
I guess it'll work. Guys, what's at the what's at the hospital, man? Anything worth? No, uh, nothing. We need empty. No medical supplies? No, nothing. it's completely scavenged. Every fucking like tables upturned and shit. So I don't know. But I found I found some houses that have like eight backpacks. That's, that's in the, the most important thing some. I want is medical supplies. Yeah, medical supplies like, are pretty no. useful. Just um, I've been making a um. A thing of ripping up clothes whenever I find them and just trying to make big bandages out of them. So. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the clothing? Yeah. So if you take like three bandages, you can make a bigger bandage? I don't know about making a big bandage out of. I, 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 I take three <laughs> pieces of cloth and make a bandage. I don't know about making a bigger bandage out of three bandages. I haven't got that far yet, you know? <laughs> well, I know Yo. how to make the ones for small wounds. How do you make the big one? I don't yeah, know. Like, he has a point, doesn't he? Just don't get a big wound, you know? Just make a, make a thing of not getting shot by assault rifles and you should be good. Just, you it's, know. It's really easy we've, to get uh, hurt out here. Yo, how do you make a fire is a big question. We've, nev we've never killed anybody. It's hella cool, though. You know, I killed anyone? No, that's good, you I know. Never. I like this thing of, like, talking to people instead of shooting at people. As fun as it would be to shoot people. You know, I am a bit we of a fucking rocks. maniac. Yeah. Walked away. Do you guys know where to find yeah. skulls from to talk to the fucking skull dude or whatever? I tried we, uh... killing someone and I skull fucked him, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found one skull no, in a random barn. The, uh, trader. It was pretty cool looking. But Doc said you out. gotta find them uh, in buildings, and then you slowly turn them into them, and then oh, eventually shit, when you get 250, you get a car. Yeah, pretty dope, right? Yeah, so I haven't don't seen a car yet. On you you want to you get like a bunch, go up there, give them to them, get a bunch, go up there and give them to them until you get like enough, pretty much. Okay. Does uh, <laughs> anybody have some bandages? I've been if you get robbed, you're screwed. Lately. Oh shit, you bleeding? I was up there, man. It's a fucking beautiful... Cave. Yeah, yeah. You I felt like cave? I was in a, a chapter of Avatar. Yeah, I heard the Grim Grimada of a place is called right, the cave. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Look up, it's pretty cinematic. Yeah, I haven't been it's down there. Crazy. Is it is it hard to get down there? Because I heard. Uh, so, no. Oh, who was it? It was you, Xavier, who said it's fucking kind of deadly to go down, right? Plus, it's it's, it's way up in uh, uh, it's way up in the corner. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not hard. It's just it's kind of you know it can be. You I'm, know, I'm actually gonna go bike there. It's in the middle. I'm gonna go bike no, I don't for know now. Where the fuck it is? Wait, where the fuck's my tire? Oh, there it is. It's it's about a good like ten minute uh, enjoyment. Survivors, that's fine. There it is, way up there. Yeah, that's where it is. Alright, let's see. So we need to go along the east side. There. There's nothing up there but sightseeing. I'm gonna yeah, go sightsee. Okay, I'll see you boys in a bit. Or peace. Alright, so, yeah, so I mean, we're here in the grips of a mod right now. I mean, the mod has only been out for a day, so obviously a lot of people don't even know about it yet because it's not really like, you know, advertised or anything. We're not looking to fucking get a full 60 hour, 60 or whatever server, but I mean, even if you can see in the bottom right right now, there's 21 people on. And, uh, you know, I've got this nice little community going on in the village. Um, it's just, it's mainly the community which makes this good, I think. You know, communities like CCG, uh, I can't think of any other ones, but on Exile, on Overpock, it's, it's all kill on sight. And it's nice to have not necessarily RP. But still, just not kill on sight. It's nice to talk to people, work out who they're working with, um, you know, trade and stuff. And it's it's impossible to do that without having an established community which already know about the whole we're going to trade thing. So, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty awesome. You've got the, the school trading thing going on as well. I don't know how hard it is to find loot. I mean, I found two pieces of loot so far. The one thing which I told you guys about before, the documents, and I also found... Oh, fuck! Defibrillator. Oh, what do I do about my chest wounds and my heavy infection? Is oh, that going to be an issue? Yeah, yeah I think probably. I have some spray yeah. for the infection. Yeah, I got the spray as well. <laughs> oh that, shit, yeah. 4,800 dollars have been taken out of a bank account? No! Yo, yeah, give my money. <laughs> there, I just dropped some anti-turn spray. Spray that on yourself. Oh, Alright, dude, where's my fucking MP5? You guys robbed me? <laughs> well, I love that vegan as well. Ben's game. Alright, so my infection is fading. Thank you, boys. Alright, anyway, as I was saying, um, I think they killed me and the dude who was, follow was following me around as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover cloth off this guy, but yeah, because not everyone has to use TFR, a lot of people just don't use TFR. I feel like I might actually end up bleeding out here, because I've fucking I've got chest wounds right now. Um, but yeah, they stole my MP5 as well. But the only piece of loot I found so far were the documents and a piece of wood, I think, just from the floor. So loot seems kind of hard to find, but I mean, you've seen right there, those guys were decked out. There's also, I've seen a zombie on all fours, upside down kind of thing, and that looked really cool, so. I don't know, but those guys, obviously, you know, that's what happens when you spend a lot of time on the game. You can look fucking bosses. I don't know if these guys are on TFR or not, but once it is enforced, they will, um, you know, start using TFR. Uh, what the fuck? I don't know if. Oh, he's giving me a Glock. What the fuck is your thing right there? 
Oh, sh what the fuck? Yeah, so there's uh, that upside down zombie right there, and there's a bunch of these fucking right here as well. I don't know, I need to get my ammo. See, the zombies were a bit of a. Um, a bit of a problem. We went with all stuff from my backpack, but yeah, once the once the community uh, all used tier four and whatnot, which they said they were going to use those RPD dudes right there. They said they were going to use it once um once the promotes a bit more popular. Then that, that's going to be really awesome um, if if there's rules and what in place. I did talk to Kyle, one of the developers, and he said that they. I mean, I don't know. I can't remember exactly what he said. It was a fucking while ago, but I'm pretty sure he said um he said that uh, they don't have any plans to make RP rules. For a while, so I don't know, but but we'll see. If we, I'm gonna go tear off some of the clothes of one of these zombies, I think, and and make a bandage, so I can fucking. And also, this guy's got a ghillie suit. It's not not a bad idea to take that, really. Right, I can go ahead and make a cloth, or not a cloth. I can make a bandage now, and I can go ahead and use that. I don't know if that's actually gonna re uh, fix my chest wounds or not, because yeah, okay. So I give me some HP back, but I don't think it fix fixes my uh, chest wounds. That's fucking. I don't know, man. I feel like I could have some serious issues right here. But whatever, I'm gonna go venture up to the, um... I'm gonna go venture up to the, uh... Oh no, Vemagod has fixed it, awesome. So, yeah, it works the same, the same medical system that it... Or oh, the same way it works in, in April. Obviously a lot of the, the scripts and whatnot are still outdated, so... Um, things like, you know, when you're revived. And also, CPR kits are different. They are 100% chance to work, but they take a lot longer on this compared to April. But yeah, the script where it says, like, oh yeah, you fucking lost $3,800. There is no money, the currency is in skulls. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. I'm going to um, probably end up going to the, this cave over here and seeing what's going on over there. But hopefully this should uh, bring some more eyes to the mod. You guys can go check it out. There'll be some links in the description. Definitely go play it. I am gonna be recording some more. Tell me what you guys think. Personally, I'm a big fan of the S cover map and I feel like this is gonna be a community driven mod. The reason Daisy RP was so fun was because of community. At the end of the day, it was a very simple thing. It was essentially Daisy. Which, I didn't play DayZ anymore at the time, but I played a fuck ton of DayZ RP because of a community. So, yeah, hopefully you guys can kind of, um, see where I'm coming from because of that. Oh shit, fucking more weapons. Looks like a P0, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, it's a Glock, never mind. Embarrassing! Anyway, thanks all for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all good stuff. Like I said, links in the description. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, for the next video. And now I'm looking slightly less of a twat now. That's good. And we've even got... Zombie Skull! Awesome! Someone might want this. Yeah, we're going to find out here in part two.